six and 18 start. Dallas and Philadelphia have the identical league's worst records. Here is Jang for the baseline. In this area, great improvement for Gorgie Zhang, that ability to step away quickly and let Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade be your decision makers. Release six point lead, cut to four on the Wiggins jam, athletically beating everybody down the floor. I'll tell you, a couple of defensive lapses. Lopez throw it away looking for Jimmy Butler, and here comes Wiggins. Rubio flash into the corner. They give up that shot, and Rubio does knock it down. Just 22% of the season this year, a much needed field. There's Wiggins. Can Minnesota get something going outside? And that's back to back threes. And the Timberwolves cut it. Beautiful. And wouldn't you want to see more of that? The assist numbers are still kind of around two as Rubio takes it in. You still feel like there could be improvement in that category for Carl Anthony Towns. Inside of three to play. 24, five rebounds and eight assists. Here comes Rubio. Knocked away by Grant. Just a good job, if nothing else, to stop the break with Minnesota back within 12. Got both. Sure enough, what do they talk about? Pace on one end, getting the stop and stopping the sprints on the other side. Towns gets it to go, and just like that, Minnesota is within 10. What the coach just asked. It's to get it to within single digits. At one point, the lead was 21 here in the second quarter at 51 to 30. Wiggins gets it to eight with 70 seconds for the half. Base out. Get a little isolation against McDermott to set up Jang again on long distance. Rubio there for the offensive rebound. Good job by Cannon to get up on Levine. It is Towns. It is tied at 70. A little bully basketball there by Carl Anthony Skills. And there is Towns blocking Gibson. Butler slithering through and a knock away by Towns again. Great deterrence. Minnesota shoots for the lead. It is Towns to put the T-Wolves on top in Chicago. Starting to defend, get a little bit of deflections, block shots, and then again out in space and transit. The flip to Rubio, who got Cannon in the air, and steps in with a smooth-looking two for Ricky Rubio. Sixth year out of Spain, the veteran of this group. Cannon and Butler, so Towns searches and finds Rubio. Slapped out by Chang and a second chance. Who's going to win these hustle plays from two good offensive rebounding teams tonight? Rubio, instead of surveying, is right there to tie it. That's a big time play by Rubio. So this is the last possession. And this is something you see quite often. Mm -hmm. You know, Doug McDermott comes in the game and teams attack him right away. Crossover, the floater. Towns in traffic with the rebound. 3.40 on the clock, tie game, 87 apiece. Wiggins into Cannon. And it will be a blocking foul. Wiggins hit the deck hard on his way down. So close, mm. right at the edge of the restricted area. Right. Well, that right toe up. Now you correct me, because. Defense! 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 A silencer by Wiggins to go ahead. Yeah. See the difference between Wade against Levine. Free for the lead. And Rubio's there, one of the smallest men on the floor. Levine breaking out, and he lays it in. Minnesota by four, 52.3 to play. Timeout. Now this is appropriate because when Minnesota has beaten Chicago, it's because they've run harder. And there's no excuse. You got Jimmy Butler back. He just falls asleep. Levine makes a pay, and they're in control by four.